I've dragged out an old oil painting that um, I've just done the underpainting on. Um, I've, I've got a photo here. Um, it's just basically of some woodcutters in the bush. And what I've basically done is just a rough sketch. And I've done that by using a pencil as a measuring tool and just taking the measurements from the photo and either doubling it or, or tripling it depending on what size I would like on my canvas. Um, so I've just basically done an, a wash um, and then built up a couple of colours to get the basic shapes. Um, and so today I'm thinking I might just maybe work on might do the log here um, and get some more colour into it. Obviously I can't get the whole painting done today because it is oil colour and it takes a few days for each layer to dry. Um, so I guess we'll just start. So basically I've just got an old masonite board as my palette today. Um, anything is handy. I'm going to use a little bit of um, medium to help me, you'll have to excuse my studio, it's a bit messy. Um, so just give it a bit of a shake. Sorry to have my back to you. And I can't get the lid open. Okay. Yes. I haven't used my oils for a long time. So some of these might be a bit groggy. So I just pop some of that in there. Um, and I use Art Spectrum paints, basically, or archival paints, basically just um, a budget issue. They're not as expensive as some of the other brands. So I'll start with the log, just using some earthy colours, so you don't need a lot. Um, because a little goes a long way. I've got some burnt umber. Um, I might use some burnt sienna can get the damn thing open. Maybe I should have prepared this earlier. And just little dobs. Um, I might use a little bit of ochre. Oh, I come out a bit quick. Some, maybe some coal. Maybe some ultramarine. Blue for the shadows. Did you want to ask me any questions? No, you're doing well. <laughs> um, a little bit of red, light red ochre. It's a nice colour. How do you work out which colours to use? I just um, basically go um, with the earthy colours because we're dealing with the Australian bush. Mm -hmm. um, and I use heaps of white, heaps okay. and heaps of white. Because white's good for mixing colours and I just use a lot of it for no particular reason. Um, I'm, not, I'm not that experienced in oil painting. I'm pretty much self-taught except for I did do workshops with Kevin Boucher which, which is an, who is an amazing artist um, in Victoria and he taught me basically everything I know about oil so far so now I'm on my own I'm just sort of um, doing my best so we've got our palette knife so I'm just going to um, get these light, sort of, tanny colours um, mixed in. There's a bit of ochre. Okay. 
Okay, so I just sort of a little bit of medium. And I just want to start. Actually, I need a bit of better. Just want to start with the darks. Um, and then I work my way back to the lighter areas. So, excuse my messiness. So I basically just mix the colours that I'm using. I just do a little bit on the edges. Um, so I get a good mix of different colours. Because in a log, you don't just see one colour, you see all sorts of different how long does the oils take to dry? Uh, probably a good, good couple of days for this layer. Uh, it just depends on the weather. So I'm just trying to get that colour in on the bottom there. Just trying to give it a little bit more. Of course it's going to be a bit harsh against the green, I'll come back over that later. Um, so it might look a bit a bit cartoonish to start with. So I don't put a lot of paint on, I, I actually like to smudge my paint a bit. Um, the good thing with oils is you can really that really goes the distance. It's not like acrylic where it dries really fast. You've got plenty of time to work. So I'm just trying to get a bit more colour into the log. The oil is actually, it's quite a humid day up here in Queensland, so... Try not to get my colours too muddy, but I do like to, to blend them a bit. And I like to work quite quickly. Yeah, see I'm getting a bit muddy there. So we get a different brush. Just put these darks in around the top. I love Australian painting. I love um, the work of Tom Roberts. Really great impressionist artist. So how old were you when you started painting? Um, I've painted all my life, but um, I'm mostly self-taught, and it's only now that I'm starting to take lessons and um, and do the cert for in visual arts, obviously. So I just want to get that roundness. There's actually another log coming out the top of this, so I'll just define that a bit more. Notice with some of these other ones, you've got um, the gold panning, you've yep. got the shearers, yep. and now you've gone over here to the woodcutters. That all seems to be Australian themed. Yep. What was your attraction to the Australian theme um, style I guess, paintings? I guess I've just travelled a lot in my life, and I just I just think our country's so beautiful. A lot of 
inspiration from the landscape and I just love our history. I think Australia's got a really rich, sometimes not so nice history but I love learning about it. And I, I like to keep that alive too. I think in this fast paced techno world it's it's quite easily to quite easy to forget our past. Mm. Put a bit of blue just for some shadow. It really brings the shadows alive. I can't really work too much more because otherwise I get a bit muddy. Just sometimes it's good just to stand back too and and get a bit of perspective. My studio is very, very small, which is a bit of a hindrance, but I'll probably um, come back to this later. I'll be able to see what it needs. I don't want to get too muddy, so I'm basically today just trying to get those darker areas in. Add a little bit of blue to the to the man's pants. Just get a bit. So, did you need to trace that in pencil, or did you draw it in pencil first before you started the? I draw in pencil and. I measure using a pencil and I measure um, the pencil and then I double it or or triple it to whatever size I want okay. to transfer onto the canvas. Um, it's a really good thing to learn how to draw. I've, it's one thing I've discovered in oil painting especially. If you've got a really good sketch to start with, it makes life a lot easier. I've got a lot of sort of blue. I love blue. It brings a lot of the shadows out. So sometimes it's good to work on other areas of the painting as well because obviously you're not going to be able to get all of one spot in using oils. thing with oil is you can always go over your mistakes later on when it's dry. I really love that. If you don't quite like something or part of the painting, sometimes you can just go in and, and add things that you see later. You can take it back out if you don't like it. So that's coming up quite good. I'm happy with that. And you don't have to have brilliant brushes either. 